you. Back in 2004, Phil and Amy Mickelson started Birdies for the Brave. It's a charitable donation organization that helps the men and women of the United States Armed Forces. Now, Tuesday, just off the 16th fairway to the right of number 18 fairway, there is a Patriots Outpost tent. Things were very lively in there today. In a tent filled with around 200 people, two men were acknowledged for their contributions. One was Brian Newman, the other, Phil Mickelson. Two men with different paths, yet they share the desire to serve others. Newman, a retired Army sergeant who lost his left arm in Iraq, was honored for his bravery and service to our country. Mickelson was honored for co-founding Birdies for the Brave. Both men came away humbled. We don't do anything, or didn't do anything for people to say thank you, but, uh, but it feels good to be recognized. And, uh, you know, just that, that people understand the sacrifices that, uh, that every service member has gone through. My father served in the military for seven years uh, in the Navy. I never did serve, but that doesn't mean that Amy and I can't do our part as Americans to show the gratitude that we have. The concept of birdies for the brave is simple. For each birdie or eagle made on the PGA Tour throughout the season, a contribution of $100 for a birdie or $500 for an eagle is made to the Homes for Our Troops and Special Operations Warrior Foundation. The money goes a long way. Oh, it's huge. I mean, any time that we can see a star with celebrity and know that they're doing the right things is, is unbelievable. And that he's specifically reaching out to the military, you know, as an active duty guy, I can tell you that it matters. It just plain matters. We think about that stuff. For Mickelson, the time and proceeds he and Amy give are necessary contributions because they've been able to enjoy the freedoms of their country thanks to the hard work of the troops. I remember where I was at in my career moment the moment Phil Mickelson the announcement was made I remember where I was at and I remember distinctly stopping and thinking oh, there's a guy that gets it you know if, if it was the NFL draft he's got the intangibles I don't know what they are I don't know that I can define it but I can say that he has it and he's got his heart in the right place and that's truly when you're in the active duty or you've ever served that's what you're protecting you're protecting everyone's freedom to do the right thing it's amazing it's, I don't know what else to say, you know. Uh, who better could you have as, as your spokesperson? I think the roles should be reversed. You know, here's a man, and men and women, but here, here in Brian, you have someone that has uh, risked his life, almost given his life, and certainly sa sacrificed his quality of life uh, so that we can have the freedoms that we have and so that uh, many of the people in Iraq can have the freedoms that we share as well. The PGA Tour has now awarded honorary memberships to 18 TPCs across the country. And Rich, as we send it back to you, inside that tent today, it was extremely emotional when Brian Newman received a well-deserved standing ovation for his service to this country.